boys y'all know what today is man first track day of 2023 got hades absolutely dialed finished up the oil change last night just switched the tune filled her up half a tank of e85 and uh you know got her wash looking good drag packs on feeling good beautiful weather it is currently what is it 63 degrees out and we have kind of a um entourage today we got minion we got Danny in the ZL1. We have Sager in his M4. We got some BMWs. We have Joel in the ST Explorer. And he just did his concoction. He's running E40, I believe, or E30. And, uh, you know, he's going to see what he's going to run at the track today. So we're currently on our way there now. Uh, we have about a 30-minute drive. Car's feeling good. And, my God, it feels so much better on E85. It's like night and day difference, man. Night and day freaking difference. It's just so much more responsive, and it has that snappiness to it. So I'm happy that worked out the way it did because something – almost completely ruined the plans literally we have one e85 station within hell 30 minutes um this e85 station just so happens to be like 10 to 15 minutes from my house it's the one that everybody goes to around here we literally pull up and every single pump is down like every pump you can't even go inside and pay you can't pay with a cord nothing there's no way i just did all this first track day full bolt on it's supposed to be E85 and I have to go on 93 like I would have been so bummed but thankfully they were able to like hard reset the computers for the pump um, it took about 10-15 minutes for them to fully reset and it worked thankfully if you guys would please do me the biggest favor ever drop a like up on this video guys subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already it would be awesome to hit 200,000 subs within the next month or two it greatly means a lot you have no idea and let's go ahead and set a like goal of 1500 likes on this video track day I know you guys have been wanting some track action and Hades is ready for it. to tech in everybody else i think already went so we gotta go to that building over there they gotta just tech us in we filled out our sheet and we're ready to rock so first pass i'd like to make i don't know 11 7 hopefully faster um it's kind of on the high end considering i went 12-0 stock but we gotta see how she does and where she's at so we gotta start somewhere all right while we wait we'll see joel you made it I did. I'm here. You excited to see what it does? I am. What are you hoping for based on the stuff you've seen online with this setup? I don't like, I don't know. Like I said, I don't like giving myself numbers because mm -hmm. then you get disappointed. So, like I said, we'll, we'll Set see. a goal. Set a goal. So, I like to see a 12. 12 something. I think she's got it in her though. I love the way this car looks on the drag pack, especially with the mock bumper looks so good so we're in the lanes now and i think they're just doing pro tree which i've never done before so i don't really know if i'm gonna go and try to smack the reaction time just because i really want to see what kind of pass i get out of this um and i've never messed with the pro tree before it's definitely it's pro tree for a reason so we do have a fat line right here and i think this is the only radio class they're running i don't think they're running a normal class which is kind of unfortunate so i didn't want to take my chances and not run and then have to wait a whole another cycle to get back to a radial so we're just going to see what she runs just do our thing not really worry about reaction time or anything just straight up start to finish so i do have my helmet with the GoPro setup, um, I don't have the microphone for it, so if the audio is muffled or it seems like I'm yelling, you know why. All right, boys, it's almost go time. We got like four or five more cars in front of me, and I hope you guys can hear me well. Like I said, I don't have my mic set up on the GoPro, so hopefully it's not too bad. But we're gonna try to we're gonna try to nail this pro tree. I don't know. It's definitely uh, definitely something I'm not used to, but you know that's what we're here for. We're here to learn. So should be pretty fun. I think Danny's actually going now. So all right.
solid. Um, I would say probably 11.8. It felt like it was spinning and it, I don't know, kind of kind of mixed on it but we'll check to see what the what the time was here in a second i felt extremely slow because that car to my right was a mule but i don't know how that was honestly thank you yeah that was that was garbage 11 8 ew dude ew well this run was definitely junk how'd you do what'd you run i ran 11 8 garbage would you get your 10 10 8 did you really yeah. good job dude Hell eight, yeah. One, my shit was fucking spinning right off rip. Really? Yeah. When it shifted in the second and third, I don't know. I, I, the tires are shot though. They don't have much life on them. Run number one, not exactly what I was expecting. Um, kind of how it goes, but 11.8, reaction time, 0.3. Not that good of a time. Um, I don't really know what I did wrong. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what I did wrong. Car definitely spun going into second and I think into third. Um, you probably can see it on the GoPro, it got sideways. Definitely not what I wanted. So I actually hopped back in line. We're doing the street car class now. This should be normal um, tree. You gotta get something better. At least 11.5 today would be sick. When it comes to drag racing stuff, it definitely doesn't go your way, that's for sure. All right, boys, here we go. Run number two. Man, we gotta make something happen. I can't go home with 11.8, dude. It's gonna bum me out. Please don't be an 11.8. <laughs> Please do not be an 11.8. That's gotta be better than an 11.8, man. Oh man, I'm gonna be sick if it's not. 11.7, God, dude, fucking garbage. I think I just need some tires, guys. Honestly, I can still feel it skipping around a little bit between shifts. Oh my God, dude, that makes me wanna throw up. If I'm gonna turn off my traction control, left it in normal mode. Oh, you pulled a rookie move. I did, I fucked it all up. But I still ran a 13. I'm gonna do one more tonight. You ran 13? I ran 13 like that, so. Yeah, I ran 11 7. I'm not happy. All right. Hey, at least you ran 11. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty pitiful, though. It ran 12 0 stock on yeah. the same setup. But I guess that's how it goes, though. You dish money for those tenths of a second, you know? You do. <laughs> well, well, well. Look who it is. It sounds a little different. You got a squeaky belt. Jeez. All right, guys. I want to go and just fill you in, give you a little update with where we're at during the track day here. Um, I just ran twice. 11.8, sadly, first rip. 11.7, sadly, second rip. Um, I did, like, hot lap it, so the car didn't get a good cool down time. And... I checked the tire pressure again after setting them to 19, which I should have known, but they were at like 22, 23 PSI, those two races. And to me, I think that's just a little too high. So what I did is right after my run, I dropped them down to 17. So after the burnout and they get heated up again, hopefully we'll be around 18, 19 PSI. And I'm gonna give it one last rip on the street tree, um, the street class. They're doing uh, the pro tree again right now. And we're gonna see if we can get a little bit better than 11.7. Um, right now, the car is, you know, it's on E85, long tubes, ported manifold. It is still on a base tune though. I know I've said this a while ago, but the car runs great. It's just, I don't know if it's like needing some adjustments to get a little more spicier. Um, who knows? So 
I am going to data log it, send those over to Rob uh, when I get back because I do want to make an appearance again here at the track before, you know, if we do do a blower. Um, but yeah, I, I would like to get it fully dialed to where he checks it off and is like, okay, we made some adjustments. It's as good as it's going to get. This is the 10 speed you're going to have NA. Um, but right now I can't really say that because I am a bass tune, bass E85 tune. So um, partially my fault, not making any excuses. I'm just here to have some fun. And uh, we're going to go get one more run in and see what we can make happen. So if you're enjoying this kind of content and having fun with this video, drop a like up on there for me. Let's hit 1,500 likes. Subscribe to the channel. Let's get it done. So last run of the day is about to happen. Unfortunately, we're not running Joel just for some fun content. But we are running Sager, which is running a 10-3 right now. So he's his shit's moving. But like I said, we lowered the air pressure a little bit. Um, the car is pretty cool. Got a lot cooler outside. So we're gonna try to bang this and see if uh, you know 11.5 is doable. If not, I gotta go to the drawing board, get some stuff done, and uh, you know come back because that's definitely not acceptable. Hey, are you fast? You better hope you get out of the hole quick because I'm wrecking your shit. Yeah, ready, dear bitch. Last pass of the day. Let's see what we can make happen. All in all, it's been a fun time. That's for sure. solid but I said that before but we'll see we'll see we'll see it may have been on an 11.6 I mean that'd be still be an improvement thank you right. oh I don't know what it is it's all cut off bro what is there is it anywhere else I don't know what I ran. Hopefully his shows it because it fucking ain't showing on mine. My slip got chalked, but we did confirm it's an 11.6. So we improved from an 11.8, 11.7 to an 11.6. 60 foot was pretty decent on that, 1.67. It definitely felt pretty solid coming out the hole. And uh, we're gonna come back and we're gonna see what we can tackle with it. I think I can get my 11.4, 11.5 pass with some fresh meat. I'm actually gonna go and say bye to everybody. I'm gonna head back home. And uh, yeah, it's been a fun day here at the track.